Diana Demerick here, rah, 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 and welcome back to my cozy minimalist home here in Copenhagen. Today I've got some exciting updates, I've got an invitation for you, plus we are working on a new habit for this month of September, and when I say we, that is not just me, but that means you. So anyway, let's dive in. Okay, so first up, intermittent fasting. And I'm, I'm doing this because I'm trying to shift some postmenopausal symptoms that came back when I, when I came off HRT. And I'm three months in and I have to say, it's going really well. I've actually been really surprised that I'm not hungry when, I, when I'm fasting, because I used to be the type I would be grazing all day, eating like six, seven meals or snacks a day. And I'm also noticing that I'm not getting those kind of highs and lows. I'm eating three good meals a day. It's just in a shorter window of time. And I've really noticed that when I eat, I'm much more mindful of what I'm eating. I'm really good at thinking, okay, I need to make sure I'm getting protein. And so uh, that, that's working really well. And the benefits that I've no noticed uh, physically because I'm actually feeling really good, you know, in my head, a wee bit more clarity. And I'm not sure if any of these things are intimate fasting or maybe my new uh, plunge pool. But I I've noticed that when I sleep, I used to have quite fitful sleep. I'm sleeping really deeply. I get boom, out for the count. And when I wake up, I'm rested. I'm still waking up during the night, <laughs> doing, doing the bathroom run. I'm sure you all appreciate that, those of you who are uh, 56 like me. But I, I'm, I'm feeling much more rested when I wake up because my sleep is deeper. And another physical thing, I was feeling quite bloated before. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm really feeling better in my trousers and my dresses. So all going really well. And I shall keep you updated as we move along. Right, put your hands up. <laughs> Who wants to get organized? Me! Okay, so the Get Organized virtual event, it's happening soon. We're counting down. This time next week it starts. And as you already know, I am really, really thrilled that this year I'm one of the speakers. So I hope you will join me for that. Mark your calendar for my session, Friday the 15th of September. And I'm going to be showing you how you can get success at work and at home with easy routines. You can find my session. It's called Simplify Your Day and Achieve More with the Fly Lady System. And I've got free tickets for you, but they're only available for a limited time. So don't, don't delay, don't miss out. I put a, a link down below and you just put in your email. Don't worry, there's no credit card required, no personal information. It's really, really simple to sign up. And when you get your invitation, look out for the roadmap. And I, I, I've printed mine out. You can also use it digitally. But it's a really brilliant conference and they've thought of so much stuff. So you'll get your free tickets so you can watch all the, all the sessions. There's a fun quiz which will help you choose the sessions according to your interest because there's, there's a lot of good content. And there's an expo hall where you can win prizes. Who doesn't love winning prizes? And also when everything is happening and what to do, what to watch when. And if you're wanting immediate access, which also gives you there's cheat sheets, there's worksheets, and that there's also a transcript for, for each of the, the sessions. And it was, I was reading the, the transcript for my one, and it was really funny because I had said the word bahuki, and usually I try not to use terms that people won't understand. Anyway, if, if you want to see how, how they spelt Bahuki in the transcript, you can get your All Access Pass. And the All Access Pass, let me just check, it is a one-time payment of $39. But you don't, need to, you don't need to buy anything, you can get the ticket for free, but make sure you do it today because, as I said, the free ones are for a limited time. I've got the Fast Access, uh, All Access Pass, and I've already been watching a lot of the interior design stuff, uh, I've been doing little things around the house, and this, this week I'm going to be watching all the uh, the cooking things. Anyway, it will all go live next week, so I'll see you there. And we have a new habit for this month. Yes, you and me, we're going to be working on it together. I'm going to be po posting lots of daily inspiration on Facebook and Instagram. But what are we doing for September? We're going to be working on our evening routine. And this is a great thing to work on if you are feeling stressed and overwhelmed. It just kind of gives us that kind of uh, the bookends of our day. I'm going to bring you a lot of things about that, but I've got a little mission for you today, something that I want you to do right here, right now. 
I want you to add a little bit of, of hygge, a little bit of coziness to your kitchen because often the evening routine is, for me, it is closing down the kitchen and once I've done that, I am free to go off and enjoy the rest of my evening. I want you to take time today, cut a little flower, put it by your sink. Maybe you can add in a nice lamp, some candles, just something that's gonna make this area cozy for you, okay? And even just by cleaning and organizing a small space, it's gonna make such a difference to how you move through your routines. And the fly lady zone for this week is the kitchen zone two. This is when we really concentrate our efforts on cleaning and decluttering. It doesn't mean you can't clean other places, but just gives us that focus. It will just make such a difference in the way that you feel about the, the space and help you to get on with your routines. What else do I have coming up for you? Well, Wednesday, I will be bringing you another decluttering video. You know, I video every day. I show you one thing, usually a bit more, at least one thing that I'm decluttering. Also, this week, I'm going to one of our swap parties. Woo! That's always fantastic fun, and it really gives me that motivation to find more to declutter. I'll be giving you a little update on the latest addition to my morning routine, which is having a dip in my cold water plunge pool. It's, it's a fantastic way to start the day and I, I just know you would all be queuing up to, to do it as well, wouldn't you? We will be getting back to planning and doing lots of self-care. This is my list for this week. Fly Lady Kitchen Zone things. If, if you want inspiration for that, I've got a ton of ideas on my website. But one of mine this week is baking an apple cake. We're really into apple season here in our garden and keeping up the social connections because it's those social connections that are so important. It's not the stuff that we have, it's those social connections with friends and family. Right, so how was that for a cozy minimalist lifestyle update? What's your experience of intermittent fasting? <laughs> Good, bad, you don't, want, you don't want to go there. Remember, please get your ticket today for Get Organized virtual event. I don't want you to miss out on that. And let's cozy up our kitchens. We're going to be working together on really nailing down our evening routines. I really want to remove the overwhelm for you to get the joy back into your life. And we do that through having solid daily routines. And if you found today's video helpful, it would really help me if you would like and subscribe, share the video with a friend, even just leave an emoji comment. And all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish autumn hygge be with you. And I'll see you on Wednesday, this Wednesday, with a rah, rah, rah. Okay, bye for now.